This is a review of the uh, Kum, I assume is how you pronounce it, K-U-M, German company, automatic long point sharpener. Automatic doesn't necessarily mean electric in this case, it's a regular old pencil sharpener. Um, you'll see I have a piece of tape on it because there's exactly one design flaw and that's when you open this, uh, the thing is hinged there, basically with a weakening in the plastic. So I just anticipated that that's gonna fall apart eventually. So to prevent that, I just use a little bit of, uh, of gaffer's tape and it'll probably stay together for a, quite a long time. Uh, neat thing about it is it's a two-stage pencil sharpener. So you start with one, finish with the other, comes with two extra blades, you get standard um, Phillips screwdriver to unscrew and replace blades. Um, and I finally bought this because for like nearly two decades, I've been sharpening by hand and with all the wrist problems that I've had from typing, um, I sharpened like 10 pencils one day and I just, it just hurt so badly. My hands cramped. Um, and this is what I've been doing forever. Basically just stripping the, um, the wood away from the pencil. And this pencil sharpener does exactly that. And stage one, really all it does is cut the wood back. And you can see it's a little bit funky with Prismacolors because the graphite's wider, so it leaves a strange little tip there. Um, and then to take that little tip off, that's that's odd, you just run it through the second stage. And it sharpens it and you get a great long point. You'll notice that that point is extremely different from the way that the Prismacolor pencil comes. So you're obviously going to want to have this particular point. So I'm going to fully sharpen one. I haven't actually done this. Usually I've just stripped the wood and, and ran with it. Um, so we'll see what it does. The other weakness is that there's not a huge reservoir for shavings. So, you know, you'll want some place to dump this fairly often. The reason that it's called automatic is because you just start sharpening and eventually the pencil just stops on its own. And I think that would be a feature to look for if you got an electric pencil sharpener, but I don't really want an electric one. They're loud. Then I have to replace batteries or charge them and worry about all that. Um, this is easy enough for me. There, it's kind of stopped cutting. So you see it has this weird long tip on it uh, where it automatically stopped. Then all I have to do is just start running it through the other one. It started cutting the wood. There we go. Now I have a huge, long, uh, broad tip. So I can go through and I can get these huge, broad, broad marks that are, that would be a real pain to sharpen to with a knife. Um, so this basically is to me more or less the end all and be all of, of pencil sharpeners, um, at least non electric ones. I don't know that I've found that I've seen an electric one that would do uh, this well. This one comes highly reviewed. It's like six or seven dollars. Um, it's basically perfect. So I would recommend it.